Hey, hey, hey. You wanna come play with me? Uh, sorry. Um, I don't wanna go watch TV. But you said you played with me yesterday. Yeah, but today I just I just wanna watch TV. We played yesterday though, but uh we we can play later if you want. <laughs> okay. saying I'm completely the worst, but at the same time, I could have been better. You know, I kissed my elders, hugged my cousins, played with, you know, the neighborhood friends if I could. Put some toys around the house. I was pretty good. I'd like to say so now. Now, <laughs> being an adult, but in my younger years, I was something else. There were times where I was just completely uncharacteristic, and you couldn't even place a time and a date for when it happened. It just did. Like this one time, I was going out with my mother to get some groceries. Now, normally, a kid would just sit there, you know, maybe touch a few things. The mom would probably strike a hand and be like, no touchy, and then I'll be like, hmm, okay. But my unfiltered mouth was ready for war. She was ready to go to war for it. She really was. As we're going down the aisle, I see this lady. She's, you know, of regular size. But to me, whoo, it, it was field day, field day for my eyes. Mom, why is that woman so big? My Shh, What? She is. And it was like that for the rest of the people that I saw. Why is he so skinny? Why is she so ugly? Mm, I wanna be seen looking like that. Why did she do that exactly? Eh. Very bad, very, very bad, very bad. My mom is just sitting there trying not to laugh, telling me that it's inappropriate to say those things to people. Um, I didn't care. I just shrugged my shoulders and continued on with my day. Now, me, and a very special person to me, my uncle, we're about eight months apart. So technically, <laughs> hypothetically, we could just be brother and sister, you know? Have ourselves a kumbaya and call it a day. We would get into some mess. In the bathroom, we would take the Vaseline and just pour it all over ourselves. <laughs> Looking like the peanut butter baby, like it didn't even matter. I remember getting into my grandma's makeup, ruining the makeup, scraping it off, just making a mess, having lipstick all over my face, and walking out like I didn't just commit genocide. Another thing that we used to do is steal his sister's M&Ms when she went to go to school. She had found this out after a couple of days, so, you know, after us taking turns <laughs> grabbing each other, like we were on some type of war mission. It was hard for us to get the M&M's because she put them on the top of the refrigerator. How are we supposed to get anything now? We were like four or five. Can't blame us. Our curiosity strikes at any moment. So, the goaded, infamous, twin brother of the situation helped us, grabbed the M&M's, and handed it to us, and pretended like nothing happened. She found out though. Very pissed. Very pissed off. <laughs> we have allies in every direction. I'll tell you that much. There was one time where our whole family went to this community spring. It was a pleasant place, very nice, very serene, and I was really enjoying myself. So when we had to go and leave, I was in my mom's arms, and one of the twin brothers and the cousin were walking with us over this bridge that had this very rapid river under us. And me, 
trying to make a statement saying that I didn't want to leave. I still wanted to be one with the water. Had a plan. So, at the last minute, I unraveled myself out of my mom's arms and jumped into the river. My mom shot. Didn't know what to do. My uncle and my cousin jumped into the water rescuing me. Now rest assured, they're in the military, so the first instincts of helping anybody out is there. It's keen. It's it's right on point. My mother, on the other hand, was in some sort of Mangekyo starring bond, freaking paralysis jutsu. She did not move an inch. She was just there, stiff as a board, and I was just making sure that everybody knew that I was not having a good time and that I was making sure everybody was not having a good time either. There was an instance where my grandmother had flown me and my cousins to Arizona so that we can spend some time with her and her husband. It was very nice, very peaceful. One of the other stops that we wanted to go to was Chicago. <laughs> Let me tell you, the plane right there was just magical. We had boarded the plane and all four of us, all being in different variations of ages, me being the youngest and the oldest, I want to say around being 13, we're all getting on the plane, very excited, very pumped. But the youngest before me, AJ, had an idea. He wanted to make this ride something that nobody would ever forget. I think this just runs in the blood of just making everybody, everybody regret the day that they knew us. We ended up going on the plane. Oh, and as we sat down, we started farting. All four of us. On the plane. You know, we also started running up and down the aisles, being loud and obnoxious, and just having a rowdy moment. My grandma, shaking her head, looking around, trying to find a way to just tame these children, was not having it. And my grandpa, <laughs> I don't even know what he did. He just stood there, waiting for this plane to leave. I'm honestly surprised that we did not get up kicked out of this plane and last but not least probably my favorite thing to tell right now how my grandma gave me some walkie walkies. slash that thing bleeding p as i mentioned before the plane ride to chicago <laughs> was something else she had already had a preemptive plan for me because out of all four of us i was probably the wackiest one so in the attempts to calm me down, she had already made this bottle of warm milk for me. And at home, she made at least, I think, two or three of them. One with children's Benadryl. And two with some children's NyQuil. She really put the lean in my cup, if you know what I mean. Now, this hasn't been the first time that I've been on a plane with her. And as I've gradually gotten older, I've gradually gotten more rowdier. So, what she did was that she took those three bottles and made sure she put them in a place where they would stay warm. Because I like my warm milky, thank you. She was keeping out for me. Real, real homie right there. <laughs> and while she finally got my grasp, my attention, she wanted me to sit down and relax. Me, probably already being exhausted, complied. I drank the bottle, I didn't really taste much, it was just a bottle. But, you know, after a couple tries on something, you have to retain some knowledge. So on the plane ride from Chicago back to Arizona, she gave me another bottle. Now, mind you, I'm already having the taste buds tingle. I'm already making sure that I'm preemptively watching and staring to make sure that, you know, I know what the jig is up. Listen. I might be dumb, but I'm not stupid, you know? So she proceeds me to give me this bottle. Well, you know, everybody's tired from the weekend trend of going to Chicago. She gives me this bottle. You know, I'm not really apprehensive at the moment. But as soon as I drink it, oh boy, boy. Best believe that I already know what the flavor was. I immediately throw the bottle away from my line of sight. And yell at the top of my lungs, there's medicine in here. I don't want this. The plane was silent. And my grandma was trying to take care of the situation as best as she could. Telling me to be quiet and sit down. 
as she's frantically trying to search for the bottle. And after a couple tries of her trying to get me to drink the bottle, I complied. I had a good nap. I probably don't remember much else of that. But, you know, <laughs> it was funny nonetheless. <laughs> I have a lot more stories that I want to share, but I think I'm going to save that for a part two. <laughs> I think it's going to be very interesting exposing myself for the second time. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this, give it a like, share it, comment, subscribe, say something, I don't know. <laughs> have a field day down there. Tell me how much of a bad kid I was or tell me how much of a- Oh, well, I've already done this before. Um, you're not that special. <laughs> No, but seriously, if you did enjoy this, uh, yeah, be excited for part two, because I know I am. Um, thank you so much. My socials are going to be either on the screen or linked down in the description. And I'm excited to see how this channel grows. Stay safe out there. I think I, did I already say that? Stay safe! Double time! Hammer time! <laughs>